Dub is a singer-songwriter who won Thursday's semi-final. Now he's been told that if he just keeps playing his guitar, he'll get plenty of action from the ladies. And ever since he heard that, something very interesting's happened. I've taken up the guitar. <laughs> it's Ryan O'Shaughnessy. Place your lips to mine. You could be the dark horse in this competition. In this competition, I've sort of left myself like an open book. I went out on stage and I sung a song about a girl that I like. That's exactly what I want to do. I want to write stuff from the heart. I've watched it over the years and I've seen people in the final. Never once did I ever think that I could be there. The winner of the fifth semi-final is Ryan O'Shaughnessy! 60,000 people auditioned and it's 11 now. Man, that's mad. I can't, like, I can't put it into words what it means. <laughs> it's just mad. <laughs> it really just hit me there. Literally just hit me. <laughs> it's one of the biggest things, one of the biggest performances I'll probably ever do. Yeah, it means the world, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan O'Shaughnessy. Every now and then I see a part of you I've never seen Birds can swim and fish can fly The road is long, no wonder why One of these days you'll realize What you mean to me, oh Every now and then I see a part of you I've never seen Every now and then I try to tell you just how I feel The heavens talk, the rain begins, the sky turns black Nobody wins well, I try to talk, but I can't My soul has turned to steel This happens every now and then When I try to tell you just How I feel So if you ever love somebody You gotta keep them close When you Cause I'm falling And deeper in love Hey, love Deeper in love Hey, love Well done, well done. Standing ovation from the judges there. David, what did you make of Ryan? Well, Ryan, I think that is the most emotional performance we've ever seen on Britain's Got Talent. I mean, utterly fantastic, and you so connected with the song you were singing. It was heartbreaking listening to you. And, you know, whatever happens tonight, I don't know. One, no one knows at this stage, but you are going to have a very big future as a musician. <laughs> You are so special. You really are. I think the real winners in the music industry are the songwriters. We've heard two songs from you that are exquisite and I truly believe can be massive hits. But more importantly, we've connected with you. Like David said, it was heartfelt. I said it before, it's her loss. And you, my darling, are special and I loved it. Really loved it.
it was an extraordinary performance again, and your, your voice is kind of, it reminds me a bit of James Taylor and Harry Nilsson when you kind of hit the higher notes, and they are two artists that I love, and your songwriting just has so much resonance, and Sam was fantastic tonight, but I think because you do your own stuff, you may have the edge. It's incredible. <laughs> Well, we've kind of come full circle now, haven't we? And hearing that song the second time, it sounded even better than the first time. Because I've now come to respect you as a songwriter and as a great performer and also as a great guy. Um, and I think the fact that you had the guts to kind of do what you did and explain that story, it's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> but um, it meant that we got to know you and we understood your songs better. So I think you're very brave. And like I said the other night, I think you're the dark horse in this competition. I really do. <laughs> Brian. How does it feel? Can you put it into words? I was trying to put it into words yesterday when it, when it really dawned on me that I was in the final. But, like, from, for being in this competition and having millions of people listen to my song, like, it, it's just incredible. It's incredible. Well done, well done. And I'm getting, I'm getting emotional there, but well done. You're very, very good tonight.